Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question, we know that the sum x plus y equal to 8 and, and we know the product x times y equal to 48 and we need to find x and y, so if you have your solution, your answer, you can also write it in the comments below and then we will check our answers. So our first step is to express from the first equation, let's express our y, so let's do it right now, our first step, so y from the first equation, from the first one, equal to 8 minus x, okay, a Eight minus x. And right now, instead of this y right here, let's plug in 8 minus x. So let's plug in this expression instead of y to the second equation. So let's do it right now. As a result, what, what can you get from here? x times 8 minus x, 8 minus x is equal to, is equal to 48. Okay, and right now let's solve this equation. We have only one variable, and right now let's let's do it. Let's solve our um, our equation. First of all, let's multiply this x by this parenthesis. So we have 8x. 8x minus x square and equal to equal to 48. Right now let's change in order a little bit because this is a quadratic equation. Here we can easily see that this is a quadratic equation. So let's do it right now. First of all, on the first position, let's write minus x square. So minus x square. On the second position, let's write this 8x. So as a result, we have plus 8x. And from the right side, let's exp let's write this 48, but of course with the negative sign. Yeah, we have minus 48 equal to zero. Right now, because there are, there are a lot of students, they prefer a positive sign right here. They prefer a classic ax square plus bx plus c. So right now let's multiply both sides by minus one, and then we will have a classic, um, a classic order of signs. So we have x square minus 8x, and plus and plus 48. This is our quadratic uh, quadratic equation and right now let's solve it. Of course there are a lot of ways how can we solve this question like uh, I'm gonna use a classic one okay I'm gonna use a classic a classic one with the coefficients. So a equal to 1, b equal to from here minus 8, yeah I'm gonna use a classic method of coefficients b equal to minus 8 and c equal to c equal to 48. And right now let's solve it. Let's find real quick our, for example, discriminant. Let's do it. So we have b square minus 4ac. As a result, what, what can you get from here? Minus 8 square. Yeah, minus 8 square our b square minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times 48. It looks like our discriminant will be negative, but let's see. Let's see. So as a result, we have 64. 64 minus 4 times 48, we have 192, yeah, 192. So as a result of a discriminant right here, equal to minus 128. So our discriminant is less than zero. So it means that we have, we have complex truth. So let's solve it, let's see. Let's solve this question completely. First of all, let's find our x first and x second. So let's do it. So x first and second equal to minus b plus minus a square root of discriminant and a lower all over to a. Let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So minus b, so minus, but b equal to minus 8, something like that, plus minus square root of minus 128 right here and a lower 2 times 1. I need to separate it because maybe there are a lot of students who are like getting confused because of it. They, they, they don't understand um, this expression, but I split it. So right now we have this one equal to, I'm going to continue right here on the bottom. So minus minus 8, we have 8 plus minus square root of 128. How can we express this? I really hope you understand that the best way to express this is to write first of all minus 1 in the beginning times, what can you get from here? 64 times 2, yeah? So 64 times 2, and we're going to divide it by, by 2. And right now, let's remember a really important property. We can easily split it by square root of minus 1 times square root of 64 and times square root of 2. This is a classic square root property. So let's start with 8. So 8 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 64 and times square root of 2. And we divide it by, by 2. And right now, square root of 64 equal to, equal to 8. This is our imaginary unit. This is our, this is our i. So as a result, we have 8 plus minus 8i square root of 2 over over 2. And the final step, we can easily divide this by 2. So we can easily cancel these coefficients. As a result, we have 4 plus minus 4i square root of 2. And I want to write it. So right here, I want to write it. Let's, let's write, for example, on the left side. So x first and second equal to 4 plus minus 4i square root of 2. 
this is our x first and x second but don't forget about uh, y first and y second so where can we get it we can get it from here y equal to 8 minus x so let's write that but but y equal to 8 minus 8 minus x so as a result we can easily find real quick we can easily find our y first let's do it right here so y first equal to 8 minus x first but uh, I'm going to use, for example, with addition sign, I'm going to use with this in this plus, so I'm going to use for y first, I'm going to use x first with the positive sign. So as a result, we have 8 minus x first. x first, let's, go, let's use with the positive sign. So we have 4 plus 4i square root of 2 equal to, uh, our answer, 8 minus 4 equal to 4, and we have, uh, this sign will be negative. So we have 4 minus 4i square root of 2. This is our y first from here. This is our y first. And let's find real quick our y second. So y second equal to 8 minus x second. But with the negative sign. So as a result, we have 8 minus 4 minus 4i square root of 2. So as a result, we have the same thing, but with the, with the symmetrical sign. So we have 4 plus for i square root of 2 and this is our y second and right now let's group all of these together and let's write our final answer and then of course we will check it so let's do it let's write it from the left side right here so our answer to this question so we have our pairs x and y the first pair equal to uh, x first y first x first with the positive signs of 4 plus 4 i square root of 2 and 4 minus 4 i square root of 2 this is the first pair and the second pair 4 minus 4i square root of 2 and 4 plus 4i square root of 2. Okay, here's our here's our answer. Right now let's check it real quick. So I really hope you understand it and I really hope you understand this, uh, this part. Right now let's check it real quick. So we have check right here at this place. Right now we know everything about our system. So we have x plus y equal to 8 and x y equal to equal to 48 right now let's let's look at this question from a different uh, from a different angle what can what we have what we have right here at this place we have a sum and multiplication so basically these operations are like reversible so we can we can write x plus y and we can also write y plus x you know and x y we can write y x so that's why we don't need to check both of these uh, options we can easily check this one or this one we have a symmetric even even more we have a symmetrical signs right here so we don't need to check both both of these and moreover we have addition multiplication so basically it's also great for us to check only for example let's check this first parenthesis let's check this addition for example real quick so we have 4 plus 4 i square root of 2 plus 4 minus 4 i square root of 2 and this one need to be equal to 8 right now let's let's check it so we have 4 i square root of 2 and minus 4 i square root of 2 we can easily cancel it and we end up with 4 plus 4 equal to 8. So our addition works absolutely, absolutely perfectly. Right now, let's check real quick our multiplication. So the second step, we need to multiply this, uh, uh, these parentheses. So we have 4 plus 4i square root of 2, the first parentheses, and 4 minus 4i square root of 2 equal to need to be equal to 48 and right now you know a lot of students they multiply parentheses by parentheses but let's 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 look at this question from from a different angle you know let's see it so as a result for example for this is our a and we have 4i square root of 2 this is our b we have the same a right here and we have the same b right here and just look at it from a different angle a plus b a minus b and there's really important formula a square minus b square so i really hope you understand it we have a plus b a plus b times a minus b. So we can easily consider this uh, question right here, this expression as the difference of two squares. So we have a square minus b square. So let's do it. As a result, we have a square, 4 square, minus b square, 4i square root of 2, square equal to 48. Let's say, let's check it. So we have 4 square equal to 16, minus 4 square 16 times i square i'm gonna write this with the positive sign okay because uh, we have a negative two negative we have one positive and square root of two square equal to two so times two equal to 48 and everything is great because right here we have 16 plus 32 equal to 48 so our root is absolutely is absolutely great and a 
a correct. So I don't have enough space, so I just want to leave this answer right here. And I'm going to give you a few really important, uh, really interesting hints. I'm going to show you a second, like a second method. Maybe um, this method will help you. So in the beginning, what we had? We had that our um, x plus y equal to 8. What, where can we get it? We can get it from here. So x plus y equal to 8. But just look at it. So we have x plus y equal to 8. x plus y, x plus y equal to 8. Right now let's raise this to the second power. Let's square it. So as a result we have x plus y, x plus y to the second power equal to 8 to the second power. Okay? And right now what do we have? We have x square plus 2xy according to a classic formula yeah? plus y square equal to 8 square equal to 64. But right now with this expression, we know that xy right here equal to 48. Okay, so as a result, what can we get from here? We can write as x square plus y square equal to 64 and minus this one. xy equal to 48, so 48 times 2 equal to, so 64 minus 96. So this expression is negative, minus 32. And, but on the left side, we have a thumb of two squares. So this one is all the time is greater than zero. And this one is greater than zero. Yeah. So it means that two elements, of course, greater than zero is also greater than zero, but non-negative. But in this case, we have a negative. So in, in, exactly in this tip from me, you can easily get that in this case, we have, we have complex, we have complex roots. Okay, like a quick tip, maybe you are interested in this. There's like a really interesting way. How can we how can we show that we have we have a complex root? Maybe a lot of students ask uh, that uh, might be interested that maybe we have real number roots right here, but exactly this case show us that we don't have real number root. We have only only complex root. So this is my solution to this question. I really hope you understand it. Also write your thoughts. Also write a question in the comments below. It's also really interesting to discuss a little bit about this question. And you know, this, this is like a classic system of equation. This is not a hard question, but with, with really interesting and tricky moments, maybe the, the, the trickiest one, this is like a complex root right here. And with this check, we prove that everything is great. Complex root doesn't matter. We solve this question absolutely correctly. So I want to say thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for, for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I want to say that I'm really happy that I have that type of community. And I want to say, genu I genuinely want to say that I want to, they I thank you for for watching for supporting my channel we have a really big community and I really hope you enjoy my content I do, I'll try my best to make a new content every day to make a new interesting solutions interesting uh, different questions so I really hope you enjoy it and I wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day and see you in the next videos